Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Cross Watchers, okay? So let's see what's going on with my Aquariuses. If you're a Cross Watcher, this could be your energy or the Aquarius that you're watching for. I'm just going to pull a bunch of cards and then I'm going to analyze it from there. Okay, this could be like a social circle or some sort of gathering or getting together with friends, emotional connection or a community that you're a part of. But I'm going to just keep... <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Starting off with the Tower, Aquarius. You got some intense things happening in your life right now. <clears throat> some cards from Carrie from Celestial Forecast Silhouettes deck here. Ooh, oh my god, you guys, this is like a very clear message here. All right. Get one more. on the floor okay interesting it's funny because I had this song in my head as I was pulling these um don't you worry don't you worry child everything is gonna be all right and then fountain of youth so child um that's like a EDM kind of song I'm not singing it really in tuned here but with the Nine of Swords, I feel there has been a lot of anxiety. But I feel like you're kind of moving through it, okay? So basically, something fell apart here. Um, I feel like it was because someone opened their mouth and said something, okay? There could be some gossip here. There could be a lot of hearsay. There could be someone who is a little bit shady and does, like, underhanded things, okay? Um, and you are right to not trust them. And you are right to set a boundary. And I feel like spirit is saying that this is happening because you deserve peace. You deserve tranquility. But you have to choose that for yourself. So you have to also look at, am I feeding into this drama? Am I feeding into this chaotic situation? I definitely feel it could be like a friend circle kind of situation. These are usually love readings. But um, I feel like this is something to do with the people around you this also could have been a third party situation where things fell apart because someone revealed something and someone found out i definitely feel you moving away from this situation and getting to a better place with the six of swords it says bridges know which ones you need to burn which ones to rebuild and which ones to avoid okay so i feel like you need to trust your intuition because you haven't been with this situation, perhaps that's just a theme that you go through where it's hard for you to trust your intuition, but um, you, you could be beating yourself up about that. This is Pisces energy. Fountain of youth, looks fade, that's the reality of life and the privilege of growing old. Our eyes do not age, they see everything we are meant to see in our lifetime. This goal is to remain forever young in our hearts and in our souls. That song has been coming through for me actually. So I also feel this is saying, don't let this person taint you and your innocence, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, Leo, or Virgo. We have summertime here, illuminated paths. It says June, July, August. So I feel like the last few months, something could have really been illuminated for you. I feel like you are going to find your happiness. You are going to rebuild from this chaotic situation, okay? This situation is not going to define you, so I don't want you guys to spend too much time thinking about it worrying about it, fixating on it. Okay, let's get more clarity here. Fairy tales, letting go, detachment, moving on. You guys, look at this. This message cannot be any more clear. So you guys are really trying to decide 
which bridges to burn, which ones to walk over, okay? And then we have the gift, a present, an offer, nurturance, growth, potential. You are going to be rewarded when you make a healthy decision for yourself, okay? I also feel like this is saying um, the situation has been a gift for you to learn more about yourself, for you to gain strength. Look at this, three of pentacles, but I wanted to get one or two cards for advice for you guys. Three of Pentacles is the people you work with. Third party situation, once again, collaboration. Okay, Aquarius, what's advice here? Son of Swords, this is gossip. Once again, this is hearsay. This is someone keeping an eye and keeping tabs on you. So someone is very in tune to you and perhaps you feel like fixated on you. Another Pisces energy, the hangman. You don't know what to do about this person. I also feel this person could be very charming. They could be, they can make you feel like their presence is a gift. They can make you feel like you would be missing out on them. We have Son of Pentacles. We have two pages, kind of like an immature energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's a, there's a deck that I wanted to use for you guys. Let's see if I can find it quickly. Okay. Um, so I feel like you guys maybe need more time to figure out how you're going to go about this, but I also feel with the page of pentacles, I'm hearing like that you have like opportunities to move forward and do something and not like focus on the situation. There's something new that you're going to be getting started in here. Okay. You're not going to be stuck in this situation forever. The situation is not going to define you. nightmare it could have felt like a nightmare psychic protection shield bad dreams yeah five um so i definitely feel like you feel there's some bad energy that you've been around redemption absolution forgiveness penance so i feel this is like forgiving yourself too for not trusting your intuition but also you can forgive someone but still not have them in your life right that doesn't mean you have to let them in that doesn't mean you have to keep them close if someone doesn't make you feel good, if someone doesn't give you good energy, we have hidden feelings on the bottom. I also feel like someone could have hidden feelings. Of, I feel like someone could have feelings for you and they're going about it in a really weird way. This is from twi third party. <laughs> Twin Flame Spirit Oracle. It's from Twin Flame Spirit 717. You could check her out. Negative feelings. You see, yeah, there's a lot of mixed negative feelings around this situation. But what is it that keeps you holding on to this person? What is it? Too many cards there. I feel like there's an attachment here, though. Practice compassion, okay? So that's, I think, what you guys, looking at it like hurt people hurt people, right? It's not personal, whatever they're doing. But that doesn't mean you can't protect yourself, okay? Find your tribe. And perhaps this is just not your person. These aren't your people. And family and children. Perhaps your tribe is your family and your children. Perhaps friends are, you know, not your thing right now. But there's people in your life that love you, that need you, that want to be close to you. Forward movement. Yeah, that is just a consistent message I keep getting with your guys' reading. Um, I want to get messages from this person. I'm going to use the Heart and Soul Love Oracle from Carrie from Celestial Forecast as well. What does this person want to communicate to you? Breathe. I feel like this is spirit saying, it's going to be okay. Like I said, don't you worry, don't you worry, child. I was drowning my sorrows before you came into my life. I didn't think I would ever be able to come up for air again. A broken heart can slowly kill you if you let it. Thank you for rescuing me, for helping me. I'm getting the feeling, though, that you're dealing with an energy, energetic vampire here. And this person almost, like, latches onto you for their oxygen. Yeah, you see? You're, like, everything to this person. I feel like they've made it... I feel like if someone has talked about you, has gossiped about you, has done things behind your back, has created drama for you, it's because there's something about your energy they're almost like very obsessed with, okay? 
You are my one. You are the one, my lover, my best friend, my peace, my safe place to land, my everything. I love you with every fiber of my being. You came into my life. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like an obsessive energy. Life truly had a... But also this could be to go to where you feel safe, okay? Go to the ones that make you feel value of value, that don't make you question, that help you to breathe and help you to relax and don't like suck the oxygen out of you, okay? Rhythm. We have so much chaos going on throughout the world. I have to tune it out when it gets too much. Before I know it, I'm in my own little world where it's just me, my thoughts, my music, and songs that uplift me, songs that calm me because it's about us. You are there. There's something about music, guys, okay? But I also feel like this is saying to get back to your own rhythm, get back to your own energy, clear your energy, listen to songs, be in your own world, do what you need to do to gather your energy and to make a decision from there. Music could be really helpful, meditative music where you just breathe. Um, but knowing that you, you're worth everything. Okay. So whatever energies you're around, whatever's getting you down, just get back to yourself and know that I also feel with fountain of youth, perhaps you're younger looking than this person. There could be some jealousy or envy, or there's some light about you that this person wants. Okay. So don't take it personally, practice compassion, but also practice compassion for yourselves. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.